Hello, I'm Enrique Rodriguez, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer. And I'm Sean Barden, Senior Applications Technician of Fairchild Semiconductor. Today, we will review the applications and the technology behind the FSA-1211 camera switch. The FSA-1211 is a 12-port, single-pole, single-throw analog switch optimized for isolation, size, and performance. The FSA-1211 features low C-off capacitance, 2 picofarad typical, low on resistance, 7.5 ohms typical, and wide bandwidth of up to 720 megahertz. Specific applications for the FSA-1211 include 3G smartphones, netbooks, set-top boxes, and notebooks. As an example, let's take a closer look at smartphones with dual camera applications. Typically, you will find a high-resolution still camera and a lower-resolution video conferencing camera. As consumers demand higher-resolution pictures, cell phone designers are required to implement a higher-performance parallel interface. The FSA-1211 is the first camera switch designed for this application. Currently, most dual camera applications use one port of the baseband processor. The two cameras share this port, therefore introducing a transmission stub between the two cameras. Traditionally, this has worked for lower-speed cameras, but as next-generation designs require higher frequencies due to the higher-resolution cameras, a signal integrity issue arises. In previous designs, the transmission stub between the two cameras was large. This was not an issue since at lower speeds, signal integrity is not as critical. In this teardown of a dual camera handset, here's the connection to the baseband, here's the lower resolution camera, and here's the higher resolution camera. The stub that is shared in the parallel interface has a lot of parasitic components due to the long trace that has to go through the flex, board, and connectors. As resolution increases, cell phone designers will not be able to implement this design due to the higher speed parallel bus. This is where the FSA-1211 can provide the greatest value to the design engineers by isolating the unused stub and improving signal integrity. Why don't we take a closer look at the FSA-1211 UMX demonstration board, Sean? Here we have a demo platform with our FSA-1211 camera switch. We have created a flex path to represent the baseband connected to two cameras, the low resolution video conferencing path, which is typically VGA, and the higher resolution still picture camera path. We have our input signal representing a baseband processor. This is running at 48 megahertz with a 2.7 volt supply. Today, we'll be demonstrating the FSA 1211's ability to isolate the lower resolution VGA camera path signals from the higher speed path in order to maintain signal integrity. Traditionally, with unisolated camera paths, you will get signal distortion due to the parasitic components and reflections from the parallel stub. We will look at two cases. First, we will see the poor signal integrity on this board without the isolation. As I close the isolation switch, both camera paths are connected to the baseband processor. Now, we will monitor the high speed camera path output on the scope with our input signals running. Here, you can see the reflections in the signal edge and the effects of parasitic components in the VGA camera path. As we see in this waveform, the reflections cause distortions in the threshold region. They also slow the rise and fall times of the edges. These artifacts decrease the data eye and directly limit your signal speed. These high frequency components of the distorted signal can cause timing errors in eye closure, radiated EMI, and data corruption. As I open the FSA-1211 switch path, it isolates the parallel stub. This improves signal integrity by reducing the distortion and increasing the bandwidth of the high speed camera path. Let's look again at the signal integrity in this demonstration before and after isolating with the FSA-1211. Before, we see the signal integrity issue. After, the FSA-1211 isolates the VGA camera path from the high-speed bus and improves signal integrity. As we have demonstrated today, the FSA-1211 allows mobile handset designers increased flexibility and improved system performance while still sharing a common baseband interface. I'm Enrique Rodriguez. And I'm Sean Barden, a Fairchild Semiconductor. For more information, please go to www.fairchildsemi.com slash camera switch. Thanks for joining us.